Kuwaitis went to the polls on Saturday to elect a new parliament for the eighth time since 2006. The rising cost of living, higher fuel prices and the political stagnation because seven consecutive parliaments were dissolved, just some of the issues on the minds of voters. There was a high turnout. Nationally, around 70% cast their vote. And in some areas, participation exceeded 80%. A great deal of hope has been pinned on this election. Kuwait has a budget deficit this year for the first time in its history, and it is not a small one either. The government is almost $30 billion in the red. The drop in the global price of oil, the country's main source of income, has been blamed, and as a result, government subsidies were removed, leaving the people to foot the bill. Voters were also concerned about who represents them. The previous two parliaments were made up entirely of pro-government MPs after opposition parties boycotted those elections. This time around, nationalist, Islamist and reformist candidates joined forces winning around half of the 50 seats in parliament. Only 20 incumbent MPs managed to win re-election, with voters also opting for several younger politicians. Shia MPs also suffered heavy losses. Their share of seats was cut by a third. This analyst says overall this election has the potential to usher in real change if the interest of the people is put first. I, I think they need compromise between the government and the needs of the people of Kuwait and they have to match themselves with the new era after the oil price down now. Uh, and uh, that's why uh, they have to compromise it. Other than that, uh, it will be uh, facing problems uh, that the government cannot pass any article that the people of Kuwait against that. This will be the eighth time in 10 years that this building will house a new parliament. And with several young and new faces elected, there is much hope being pinned on what it can achieve. High on the agenda will be fixing the Kuwaiti economy. But to do that, this parliament will have to succeed where others in recent years have failed, notably avoid being dissolved yet again by the Amir. Jamal Al-Shayal, Al Jazeera, Kuwait.